the surprising turn of events involving the shooting death of a 13-year-old boy in Indianapolis. Prosecutors have decided not to file charges against the woman arrested for that shooting. Our crime reporter Steve Jefferson explains what this means for the case and how the teenager's family feels about it. Even with this new development in the case, homicide detectives here at Metro Police Headquarters consider the shooting death of Harry Tolliver IV an ongoing investigation. Deputies escorted Chantel Taylor back to her jail cell where she will likely start the release process. Prosecutors filed this document stating they do not intend at this time to charge her with the murder of 13-year-old Harry Tolliver IV. Harry's uncle got the news while waiting in the courtroom. Because the last thing we want is for someone to be charged and they are not responsible for this. Harry did not survive two gunshot wounds during a neighborhood disturbance. You can see the 13-year-old in this video from a previous disturbance days before his fatal shooting. Eventually, Taylor surrendered to police with her attorney who argued she did not shoot Harry. Why did Mitchell Police arrest her for murder? That's a great question. Um, and hopefully we can find out some more facts and more information. As the teen's family prepares for his funeral, they hope someone helps uncover who shot Harry. I want them to come forward. I want them to give all the information that they have. If you have any information that could help in this case, you can call Crime Stoppers. The telephone number is 317-262-TIPS. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson. Now, Harry's family will be laying him to rest on Saturday, and they still need some help raising the money to pay for his funeral. If you would like to contribute, we have a link to their GoFundMe page at WTHR.com.